Hello everybody! Today is the 17th of April 2017 and it's a bank holiday and I'm a bit bored so I thought what can I do today? So I went down in my cellar and I found this five gallon tub or glass demijohn, whatever you want to call them because uh, I used to do a bit of home brewing and I've not used this in years to be honest with you well actually I've never used this one, I've got two more which I used to use um, but the others, the the openings are very, you know, a lot lot smaller uh, and you can fit a cork in with uh, an airlock um, I can't seem to find a cork for this, it's too big so anyway what I thought I'd do is uh, make myself a little garden type thing so we had some tubs outside um, the her indoors was growing shit in and to be honest with you they all died and they've been weeds well not weeds but dried out stuff for the last two or three years um, when it rains the, the tubs outside get filled up with water um, and occasionally there's, gr there's a bit of green growth coming out of them. So what I've done is I've emptied the contents of that into th there and I've pulled a few bits of moss from my steps, my stone steps, thrown that in. Um, I've In the bottom of there I've lobbed like a bit of paper and I found some mouldy bread so I'll throw that in. Um, there's a bit of orange peel, there's a bit of onion peel, there's... I had chicken last night for my dinner, so there's a few chicken bones in there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to leave it and see what happens, see if anything grows in there. Might as well, give me something to do. Um, I've also got a, a wood burning stove and I've got a few logs in the backyard. Uh, so I thought, right, I'll throw a bit of bark in. Now, I don't know if you can see it, there's a bit of mouldy stuff on there. I don't know what the hell that is. And if you look there, there's a bit like cotton wool type stuff, so I don't know what that is. Same as there. That white blob. So that's going to get thrown in as well. So, let's try and do it now. So what I want to do is... I want to sort of like just break that off. Hang on, this is a bit tougher than I thought it was. Right, it's just not wide enough, so just let me break that. Jesus! Okay, this back's a bit harder than I thought. That's it, right. So I'll just lob that in. One in. There. Whew. Right, I've got to see if I can snap that one. So just bear with us. Right, I've managed to snap it a little bit, but the bit with the white stuff on is still. So I need to somehow break that. So again, bear with us. There we go. So that's the bit with the white stuff on. It looks like a bloody... I wonder if it's a spider's thing, anyway. So I'm gonna... Lob that in. <sighs> So what I'll do now, hey, oh, look at that, I wonder if I can lob that in, whatever it is, let me see if I can get it, go on, climb on my finger, Right, this calls for drastic action. Mm. 
There, I've just scooped it up, that crawly thing. I haven't got a clue what it was. I better back this up before the early indoors comes home as well. So, now, like I say, uh, if there is live stuff in there, I don't want it crawling out, so I was going to put a bung in, and I haven't got one big enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut... I found an old, like, T-shirt rag thing, so I'm going to cut this up and put that over, and then cable tie it and... Uh, stick some tape around it. But I need some bloody scissors. So, I'll be back in two seconds. Right. Scissors. S sleeves cut. Right, what I was thinking was, um, because I've no bung, is doing this. Getting a sleeve or something off that. Uh, if you just bear with me. Look, putting it over. Fuck's sake. Just hang on. I'm going to balance this on my knee and see if I can do it like that. There. So I think I'll do something like that, where it can, you know, it, it covers the hole and it's, I don't know, still breathable. Does it need to breathe? I ain't got a clue. Um, so I've got a can of water. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the water in it before I put my bung thing on. So the, the spray is set to spray. What I'm going to try and do is just clean that top. There, uh, look, see all the shit coming down? That's when I can't get in with. Right, I'll just give this another spray. There. <sighs> give it a wipe. Right, I'm going to now, I've, you can see the water inside it, I've just give it a spray, the wood's a bit wet. So now what I'll do is I'll put my thing on and get back to you. So I've put my cloth on with the cable ties and there's actually a bit of a, a lip, there's a bit of a lip there so I don't think that'll come off. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold that back over and then I've just got a bit of insulation tape so I'm just going to go, I'll just go over it with that again. So I'll keep doing that, I'll fold that back over like that. I'm going to chop these off um, and then I'll tape it up and we'll see what happens and we'll leave it. And what I'll do is I'll keep looking every week or something. Um, and we'll, and I think it's going to live there behind the door on this little table. So we'll see what happens. Right, that is where it's going to live. So we'll see, yeah, what happens. See if anything grows. I think it were all dead anyway, so but at least there's a bit of soil there. Look at that. I wonder what would happen if I found a slug or something and shove that in. Anyway, I wonder if it'd be out in there for it to eat. I 
I need to go and find a spider, don't I? And stick a spider in there. See if that survives. I think. But I think first of all I'll see if anything actually grows, any vegetation or out. Right. Yeah, saying that how would a spider spiders eat flies, don't they? So would it survive? I don't know. But anyway. Right, so that's it. So I'm gonna leave that now. Um I'll leave it for a month and I'll film it in a month's time and see what happens. So like I say, it's the 17th of April, so on the 17th of May I'll do another video. Okay then, bye bye.